I, th I think it is obviously really important that this time people are really well informed, they're not confused, and unfortunately, obviously, statistics can be misleading, they can be deceiving, and when it all f when this all first happened, a lot of people were saying they don't trust the statistics, did people die of COVID or with COVID, and all, all this kind of thing, as, as, as I know you're, you, you know you're obviously aware of. Now, when, when the vaccine rollout first happened, the national newspaper wrote that most people in hospital, in ICU and dying of COVID had been vaccinated. And they gave a, a very logical explanation for why, for why this would be. Yeah. And I think Neil Ferguson done, done the same thing in one of his yeah. press conferences. Now, anyway, now what people are saying and what your guest said is that the, the hospitals are being clogged up with unvaccinated people. And it's, it's almost it's a pandemic of the unvaccinated. So, well, I, I looked into this, and I think it's quite interesting. Now, if, if someone had just received their second, their second jab, say, 10, 11 days ago, and they go to the hospital, and then they die, would you consider them to be vaccinated or unvaccinated? They're vaccinated. You can still, vaccinated. You can still die. You, you can them. still get COVID and die from well, if you're vaccinated. According, according to the statistics, they would go down as being unvaccinated because according to the government statistics... <laughs> Unless you've had both vaccines and, and following after 14 days of your mm. second vaccine. OK, all right, David, I've had enough, really, because obviously you are more informed than we are. So why don't you just tell us uh, right at the end of this exactly what you think? Um, yeah. Don't beat around the we bush. Can, yeah, then we can get on with something else. When you, when you come to examples like this, it doesn't seem like it's being very... Examples strong. like what? Well, the example that I'm given, because quite clearly you said that that's... You know, what, which down. example have you given? You just waffled on. You haven't given any examples. You well, said stuff that you've example. heard, and I actually don't remember any of that stuff being uh, actually said by the, uh, uh, by the government or the medical advisors. So I don't well, know where you got it from. I'm asking you as, as, as a person, as you know, the three of us talking together, well, what do we... Don't you patronise me. No, I'm, I'm not really to. not in the mood I'm for it tonight, to. so well, be very careful. What, what do we consider someone to be vaccinated to be? Now, I personally, I would say if someone's had one jab, that we could put them down as someone that's been vaccinated. Um, well, you're better off I, with one jab than without, definitely. Well, right, but the, the government statistics are that you had to have had two jabs and had... And yeah, well, that's just I when you're fully vaccinated, yeah. Right, and, and now two, we've got a booster, two, yeah. And two weeks yeah. afterwards. If you've yeah, had yeah. only so one what? vaccine and you've only had two weeks, it's not yeah. properly protect. You need you are three better than or four weeks. Still better than sure, nothing. Why are we arguing about this ridiculously yeah. stupid point that he's bringing up? Why are we even talking about it? Because when you Where were you medically trained? I'm talking about the statistics that are available online from... from, from yeah, but even uh, if, you can make out of statistics whatever you want. Even if most people uh, in uh, uh, intensive care are vaccinated, it's a very small proportion of, well, of vaccinated. Yet, yet the people who are unvaccinated, a very large proportion of them will, will get ill. Well, this is the point, is that the people that have had no vaccine whatsoever are the, min are the minority, the minority of the dead. Yeah, well, they would, that would be right, because 90% of people have had uh, vaccines. Well, exactly. So. I, I agree with you, but it's yeah. misleading. Well, no, I you're think. being misleading, because what mm. I just said is true. Like, if you're unvaccinated, you're much more likely as a percentage of the unvaccinated. Let me ask a question before I actually get so angry I start swearing. You just can't understand it, Dave. No, no, he's thick. I, I but let me no, no, let me ask let me ask you this question: Of all the things in the world for you to get upset about, because nobody at the moment is making you have the vaccine at this particular moment, you know, uh, wh why is this something that is causing you problems? Well, what what is it that you you, you don't that. like about having the vaccine? What is your problem? Because I don't, I think that people should should be informed. They shouldn't be confused. And when oh, I shut them, up! When if I you are confused, them, that's your problem, not you, mine. You were, you were Why confused. you would be confused when all the all the information is given to you, but then you want to go and find holes in it, and then you want to criticise what you're being told by the medical profession because you think you flip in no better. No, no, no. What you is were, wrong with you? You were confused. Ash was confused, and most people would be confused. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear oh, f mm. dear oh dear. What is the what is the? We well, can't what? reason with them. That's the thing. Oh, we've got to take a break. It's